What is going on YouTube? I'm back today with another quick sensor tutorial to show you guys how to integrate the MPU9250 with the Raspberry Pi Pico W in MicroPython. Now the MPU9250 is just a newer and more advanced version of the MPU6050, which is another sensor tutorial I showed in previous videos, which I'll link right here. But this sensor also includes a three axis magnetometer in addition to the three axis gyroscope and the three axis accelerometer. Whereas the MPU650 only included the accelerometer and the gyroscope. So the addition of the magnetometer in this sensor allows for nine axis motion sensing as opposed to only six axis motion sensing as we saw in the MPU6050. So this is a more powerful sensor and this can allow you to provide more accurate orientation tracking and heading estimation. So if you have more advanced applications, you want some heading estimation and you want more accurate orientation tracking, this is the sensor for you. It is a little more expensive. I, I believe it's about $10 more on average from what I've seen online, but it does provide more capability. This sensor also features improved power consumption and high resolution ADC analog to digital converter compared to the MPU6050, which allows for more precise measurements in general. Additionally, the MPU9250, a lot of them support SPI in addition to I2C, whereas the MPU6050 usually only supports I2C. So overall, this is a much more advanced and capable IMU compared to the MPU6050, and it's suitable for a lot of applications, including drone stabilization, robotics, and virtual reality. So enough being said, let's get into it and show you how to use this from the physical setup to the code setup. Okay, so jumping into the physical setup for the sensor, you can see it's pretty easy. If you watch my previous tutorials, it's pretty much all the same thing. You just need four jumper wires, two for power and two for your SCA and SCL pins to initiate the I2C communication lines with the sensor. Now, as always, when you're doing this setup, you wanna be sure that the ground pin here and the the, uh, the power, the 3.3 volts power, is in the correct port of the Raspberry Pi Pico because if you do put it in the incorrect port, you can potentially short a circuit and fry a piece of your electronics. So I've actually had this happen with my with another sensor of mine, my BME280, where I put the VCC pin in the wrong spot on my sensor and it wasn't able to get correct readings anymore. So just be careful with these two pins here with the power and the, the ground. But when you're doing SDA and SCL, you should be fine in terms of like mixing them up on accident. But that's what I'm going to share in terms of physical setup. Now let's jump into the code setup. Okay, so jumping into the MicroPython portion of this video, you can see here I have the script where I get the values. And it's a very simple script uh, as expected because thankfully we have these nice libraries that make our life a lot easier. And uh, just to be uh, frank, I did not write these libraries. I want to give credit to Mika Tupala where I found the library online. So just a little bit more about this MPU9250 library, which you have to import from uh, GitHub. I just copied the code from GitHub into a local file here, as you can see. What it is, it's essentially a wrapper around two libraries, which is the MPU6500 library and the AK8963 library. So you're probably confused by this one. This is actually the magnetometer unit on the MPU9250. So it pretty much combines these two libraries to get you the nine degrees of freedom readings that we are getting here. And another thing you have to do is, of course, initiate the I2C communication line with this line right here. And once you do that, you just pass that into the object in the library and you start to get the sense readings every second. And of course you can decrease or increase this value depending on how frequently you need the readings. And that's pretty much it. So if I go ahead and run this code, you should start getting values if you have your physical setup and you have all the libraries you need, the three libraries you need to start running this code. So uh, by three libraries, I mean you need the MPU9250 library and the MPU6500 library and the AK8963 library. I'll link that in the description below. So you can just go ahead and copy those portions of code into the corresponding files. And once you have all that, you should run it and see the values that you're seeing like this on the screen here, which are the acceleration, gyro, magnetic, and temperature values. Now, just a note about magnetic values. Uh, for you guys who don't know the unit for that, that's just in micro Tesla, and that's just the unit, the standard unit used to measure magnetic field. And the other values, if you watch my other videos, uh, you should be familiar with. I believe this library uses the uh, meters per second squared for acceleration. Some other libraries use Gs, but this one uses meters per second squared. Gyro is always in degrees per second, and temperature, I believe, is in Celsius. So that being said, that's it for this video. I hope this quick tutorial made your life easier and allowed you to set up the MPU9250 with ease with MicroPython. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.